Hey everyone, the Unpro Pro here, and I'm going to show you guys how to install Steam um, on Ubuntu <coughs> and stuff like that. So first, you want to make sure you have the latest version of Wine or Play on Linux. To get the latest version of Wine, all you have to do is go to huh, winehq.org. <coughs> and then you go to download, you select Ubuntu packages. Now it'll say the 1.3 or whatever, but um just do the uh, the PPA and then just click the 1. Point, or 1. 1.2 and uh, after you install after you install the uh, the PPA which it tells you how to do that right here just click 1.2 and it'll automatically be upgraded to 1.4 <coughs> and um, the latest play on Linux also I think has a uh, an Ubuntu package I'm not too sure on that but I think it does yep it has an Ubuntu package you just download the Debian package right there and you can get the latest version of play on Linux um, okay, I'll be using the Play on Linux to do this. So, open up Play on Linux, and yeah. So go to install, type in Steam, and click install. Next, and it'll download the proper version of Wine that you need. And if you're just using the original, um, or if you're using Wine, not Play on Linux, well, it's pretty much the same thing, I know, but you just click on install Steam, and then you download it which I'm pretty sure you have to download it anyways um... anyway so while this does that I'll be right back okay I'm back and as you can see it's downloading wine gecko for me and uh... the reason it, it's uh... kind of important that it does that <laughs> so it's recommended that you do use play on linux <coughs> but um... yeah it's not really like required but it is incredibly recommended Okay. Uh, hold on, let me go back to play on Linux here. Okay, the wine config is being updated. So it's con it's configuring the wine thing so it can install that. Okay, so now it's downloading Steam automatically. So we don't even really need to download um, the actual Steam thing. So, I'm going to go back to this. And the game I'll be testing is Limbo. Uh, if you're going to download a game, uh, make sure you go to like right here like go to winehq blah, winehq and you go to app db or app database and you type in the name of the game to make sure <laughs> it's sounding kinda of funny to make sure like it runs uh... if it's a platinum or a gold you should be good to go and yeah and look what's the noise oh <laughs> i heard a noise i was like what the crap alright so anyways <laughs> back on play on linux how much graphics board have? Huh? Uh, okay, I guess 1024 because I'm using an NVIDIA GeForce. I could have checked right here. Um, if you want to install Steam in another virtual drive, run this installer again. Okay. So here's Steam. <coughs> click, click that and then click Run. And as you can see, it's updating Steam. So I'm going to go ahead and let it up. Well, it's okay, it's not. Oh, never mind. <laughs> so I'm going to let it do all that, and I'm going to go ahead and create an account, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I'm back, and my account has been created. So now we're going to do, we're going to go to the uh, the limbo thing. We're going to find it. Uh, yes, that is. Okay, so i got to verify my email. I'll be right back again. <laughs> Jeez, man. Okay, so I verified my email, and uh, yeah, we've come up empty. Okay, so now we're gonna have to find the game. So, Limbo. <coughs> I'm gonna be using Limbo as the demo. That kind of rhymes. <laughs> now there's that's the one bug with like uh, this. When you're trying to move the window, just hold Alt and then click because otherwise you're probably never gonna get anywhere. Uh, store. Yeah, that's right. It was at the store. See, it's gonna like. It, it, it's kind of buggy sometimes, huh. but it, it's okay. It works. Uh, limbo. <coughs> wow, that looked pretty insane as far as graphics go. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and download this as the demo, so we can see how well it plays. Okay, it's uh, 117 megabytes. It shouldn't take too long. You can also create a, a desktop shortcut, which I'm gonna do. Okay, view your Steam library of games. Nope. Okay, so it's one item's downloading, 
and wow it's downloading pretty fast that is awesome so that's how my internet's supposed to be that's not wow three holy mackerel man <laughs> that's awesome it's going like a whole megabyte fast like oh that's awesome that is amazing I'm not complaining about that at all okay <laughs> well it's done <laughs> almost wait what 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 is this trickery Okay, so anyway, <laughs> it looked like it was done for a second. Anyways, yeah, view details, I guess. Okay, okay, now it's going like 600 something. That's fine. So, uh, thir okay, 13 seconds left. Come on, then. Come on, then. Eight seconds left. Dude, that's pretty fast. That's awesome. Okay, it's 95. I don't even have to pause it. That's awesome. Um, however, it froze on me. Why'd you freeze, man? It's because it's done. I think it's why it froze. I think it a couple seconds. There we go. Limbo has finished downloading. So let's play it and find out how this works. Okay, so it's installing DirectX. Well, it was. Okay, so this is full screen. So, uh, is there anybody can like change that? Uh, I really hope you can still see the game. I really hope it didn't like end my recording. Okay, um, settings, let me go to window mode. Oh, you can't do that, can you? Yeah, you can. There should be a way. Oh, well, hopefully you can still see this. And let's see how pretty, let's see how, like, smooth it goes, man. Not bad. Can I, like, skip this somehow? <laughs> I don't need to skip it, it's cool. As you can see, it's running pretty smooth. And here we are. <laughs> We're waking up. What's going on here, man? What's going on, man? Yeah, man. Okay, you can, like, stand up already, man. So we can go. So we can go, man. Let's go, man. No. <laughs> okay. As you can see, Limbo is running. Really good, by the way. My bad. Okay, um, I wish I could go to windowed mode, which there is a way to do that. All you gotta do is configure Wine into running it in, uh, windowed mode, which I guess I'll go ahead and... Why'd it freeze? Huh. I guess I'll go ahead and show you that. Let me go to exit here. Okay. No, did I play it again? Oh! Sorry. Hang on. Go back to exit, man. <laughs> Jeez. Alright. Exit. So, close out of Steam. Uh, right. Yeah, just exit it. And then... Hold on. Let me pause. No, I don't need to pause it. Go to your Play on Linux. <laughs> go to Configuration. Go to the Steam thing. At wine version, I'm gonna keep it the default. Uh, display. Now here's what you want to do. Uh, go to GLSL support enabled. Direct draw render. Open GL. Off screen. Uh, just default. Everything else default. A video memory size. One thousand twenty-four. Okay, so configure wine. <laughs> and now go to graphics. Emulate virtual desktop. Eight hundred by six hundred should be fine. Okay, so now uh, close out of that, and now now click run. Now you should see how it opens up in a virtual desktop, and now you got your icon down here too instead of up here. I think. Now you can play all of your games in windowed mode. It does not matter what game it is; you can play them all in windowed mode, man. Windowed mode, man. All right, so now let's try that. Larry Limbo. Cool. Now, uh, since we're using op um, OpenGL and GLSL, it should run a lot smoother at that. Resume. Yes, look at that. That is so much smoother. And there you have it. Okay, ooh. I'm actually going to play around with this for a couple seconds. <laughs> hey, I see you there. I see you there. I see them spikes there. No, 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 no. Wow. That did not work out too well. That did not end in my favor, like, whatsoever. Alright, let's dive down here, man. There you go! Run along and jump for your life. Man, I really want to get this game. This game looks awesome. It is awesome. Okay, what do you gotta do here? What? What? X? No. Z? No. Shift? No. Oh, okay, it's left control. I knew you had to grab it, I just couldn't remember. Let go! Alright, so, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, like, continue to poke around here a little bit. I'm gonna crawl my way down this little rope. 
as a good little test. And apparently, the graphics are amazing. You know, like uh, the special effects and stuff, like the blurring and all that. Everything works flawlessly. So there you have it. This is how you install Steam and Steam games on your Linux operating system using Wine or anything that uses Wine for that matter. But I think Solaris like it also runs on uh, Linux too though. So anything you can compile like with or whatever. <laughs> I wonder if anybody's actually ever like compiled Wine. You can also go full screen like this by the way. It was like I wonder if anyone's ever compiled wine on Windows. That'd be weird, man. I'm gonna dive in the water, man. I'm swim. No, can't do it. All right, guys. See you later. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoy gaming on Steam and stuff. See you guys.